Welcome everyone. If you've been following this 521 preparedness plan, you've already taken huge strides in preparing for emergencies. We've covered everything from storing water and stocking up your pantry, to creating a car survival kit, and even setting up off-grid cooking methods. By now, you're better prepared for the short-term disruptions that could come your way, and I hope you feel that peace of mind. But here's the thing. The preparations we've discussed so far are just the beginning. They'll cover you in a crisis for a few days or a few weeks maybe, but what if the problem goes on longer? And what if we need more than just a pantry of food and a few extra blankets? So let's dive deeper into what we call sustainable preparedness, because we believe real preparedness isn't just about surviving a short-term crisis. It's a lifestyle. It's about being able to live independently without being shackled to the system. COVID and recent global events have shown us just how fragile our infrastructure is. From store shelves emptied within hours to supply chains stretched to the breaking point, we've had a taste of what life is like when things don't go as planned. But it's more than just shortages. Our entire way of life, our access to food, fuel, water, and even money is all part of a delicate web. Let's talk about oil and fuel the very lifeline of our civilization. Did you know that the U.S. Strategic Oil Reserve, the backup plan for emergencies, has been drawn down to historic low levels? If something interrupted the flow of oil, we'd have less than 20 days before the system starts to collapse. And without fuel, our transportation comes to a halt. Our food, which often travels 1,500 miles to reach the grocery store, wouldn't make it to those shelves. And the power grid isn't any better. With aging infrastructure and increasing demand, the risk of power outages is growing. And if an EMP attack or a natural solar storm struck, it could take months or even years to restore full power. Then there's food supply. Today, just four companies control 63% of the grocery retail market, and most operate on a just-in-time system with only a few days' worth of stock on hand. And as if shortages weren't enough, there's control. Digital currencies and tracking devices are giving governments and corporations new ways to limit your access to goods and services. Imagine a world where all your transactions can be traced, and your ability to buy essentials could be turned off with a switch. In short, if you're fully dependent on these systems, you're also at their mercy. Friends, we can't rely on a fragile system. We can't risk only having enough food or water for a few weeks, hoping that life will go back to normal soon. We need to think about long-term self-sufficiency, about being able to live without utterly depending on the system for everything. And that's where sustainable preparedness comes in. For over 20 years, Lisa and I have been helping folks move in this direction, not just with emergency kits, but by giving them the tools to build a lifestyle that's more secure when the system fails, or worse, if it cancels your ability to even buy or sell. Sustainable preparedness means you can produce what you need right where you are for an extended time. So let's look quickly at the basic necessities you'll want to consider. We can't rely on grocery stores that might be emptied overnight. Sustainable preparedness means more than just having a well-stocked pantry. It means being able to grow your own food, preserve it for year-round use, and store it safely without electricity. Think about a garden that produces consistently, having farm fresh eggs on your table, a root cellar or cool room to keep your vegetables fresh, and the skills and equipment to water bath can, pressure can, dehydrate, or even culture your food. Water is life, and without a stable, independent supply, no plan is gonna be complete. You need a permanent water source you can access without relying on municipal systems or the power company. This could mean a well with a backup hand pump, solar power options for pumping water, or capturing a spring water. Having a reliable water system can literally make the difference between life and death, so this is one of the first items that you'll want to work on. When it comes to staying warm, the most sustainable and independent solution is wood heat. Unlike other heat sources that rely on external supplies or the grid, wood is both reliable and renewable. You can actually grow your own fuel, and how cool is that? And wood can not only heat your home, but it can also heat your hot water and cook your food for greater independence. For power, renewable energy is key. With a well-designed off-grid power system, you can live very normally, enjoying the same comforts you're used to. Solar panels can provide reliable electricity, and if you have a stream, small hydro can add to your power supply. 
You'll want to learn how to size your system correctly, choose the right equipment, and use it effectively so that you can get dependable energy without breaking the bank. Even if you want to stay on the grid, you can still set up a backup off-grid system for when you lose your power. So how do you make this shift from short-term prepping to sustainable preparedness? That's why we created the Ready Life Academy, a place where you can access the info you need to get started and can get the help you need to keep going. The Academy gives you step-by-step -step training, answers to questions you're bound to have, and the support of real people that understand where you're coming from and are moving in the same direction themselves. This isn't just another online course. This is an entire system designed to help you get started with each step, no matter your current level of experience. You'll have access to video resources on everything from food storage and water systems to growing your own garden and setting up off-grid power. In our course library, we'll walk you step-by-step step through creating a custom food storage system that's tailor-made for your family. You'll learn how to choose and set up a hand pump on your well, or custom designing your own solar power system so it's exactly the right size for your needs. In a course called Your Next Step, you'll even walk step-by-step step through figuring out what your highest priority items are to work on, so that way you can put your time and money to the best use. In the Ready Life Academy's content library, you'll get access to vast resources on everything from gardening and food preservation to water systems, wood cook stoves, and what to look for in land or a homestead. And to make it super easy to find what you need, we even have a smart search function that allows you to ask conversational questions and get answers from our massive content library. And it also points you to the exact videos and point in the video where your answer is located. This tool is amazing. And finally, the ingredient that is probably the most important of all. If you're new to all of this, the school of hard knocks can be rough. Why go it alone? Why not have someone with experience that you can get advice from and ask questions of? This really is the number one reason we created the Ready Life Academy, to give folks a place where they can get real help from someone who's been there. In the Academy, you can discuss your questions and plans on regular live coaching calls or get quick help from the community board where we answer all kinds of questions. And right now, because you've been walking with us through this 21-day journey, and you're serious about this, we wanna do what we can to make it a reality for you. We can't do everything, but we can teach you how to do this the right way and be there to help you each step of the way. If you have an experienced friend who can do that for you, then by all means, take them up on it. But for those who don't have that option, we wanna make it as affordable as possible for you to get started with the help you need. So right now, you can join the Ready Life Academy for less than the cost of dinner out once a month. Just visit thereadylife.com forward slash go before this special expires tonight and you'll get access to resources you need to create a new sustainable life, a life that reclaims the noble independence our forefathers cherished. Just go to thereadylife.com forward slash go or click the link down in the description. I know the road to sustainable preparedness can seem overwhelming, but that's exactly why we built this academy. You'll get practical help every step of the way. And if you're serious about making the next year your year of independence, we're here to help you. Take this step with us before the special ends tonight by visiting thereadylife.com forward slash go. Let's make sure you, your family, and your community are as ready as possible for whatever comes next. Thank you for being part of this 521 journey with us. May God be with you as you work toward a life of not just preparedness, but sustainable preparedness.